Auzubillahimineshaitwanirrajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Today's topic is leases. Now let's first of all see their learning outcomes. Students will be able to understand what is meant by the term lease as per IFRS 16. What is the difference between operating and finance lease? Learn how to calculate and record the leasing transaction in financial statement. A lease is a contractual arrangement whereby the lesser, the person who owns the assets, allows the lessee to use the assets for a specified period of time. The time should be fixed, 2 years, 3 years, 4 years, 5 years, maybe 10 years, in return of a periodic payment and on every month or every quarter or every year they have to pay a certain sum of money. A finance lease is in substance purchase of an asset that is financed with debt. So if it is a finance lease, it means that you are buying an asset but you are not paying immediately, you are paying slowly over a period of time. The lessee record both assets and liability equal amount to the balance sheet. Yani asset or liability dono jo hai wo lessee record karega. Halaki asset jo hai wo to lesser ka hai. The lessee will recognize depreciation on the assets and interest expense on there is uh, uh, currently this uh, under IFRS 16 they decided that there is no difference between finance lease and operating lease. In fact, let me just give you briefly what operating and finance lease is. Operating lease is basically like a rental that you, let's say you hire, uh, take a, a house for a rent and you pay for the rent. You never become an owner of that house. You just keep paying the rent as long as you stay in that house. But so finance lease is concerned. After making all payments, you become the owner of that asset. That's the difference. That's why it is substantially, it says uh, you are the owner and that's why you are recording it in your books of accounts as well as liability. An operating lease is essentially a rental arrangement. No assets or liability is reported by the lessee and periodic lease payments are simply recognized as rental expense in the income statement. So it's very clear, but since IS 16 says there's no difference between finance lease and operating lease, so that's why now we have a bit simpler. The objective of IFRS 16 is to prescribe the lessee and the lesser the appropriate accounting policies and disclosure apply to less leases. So this is one important thing. Since there is no distinction between operating lease and finance lease, anyone therefore, all assets, all leases to be treated leased assets. And here again, we used to use this word le asset under finance lease or leased assets, but now they are saying it's not like that. It's right of use assets. So the name is now asset when you borrow or you borrow, uh, take it on lease, it's known as now asset right of use asset. In the books of lessee and related raised liabilities uh, and lesser will record receivable. So if you are recording the liability, so the other party will record receivable. Exemptions are Lease to explore or use of mineral resources. So those are the long-term leases, so they are not included in this chapter. Licensing arrangement, like copyrights, movies and plays, etc. That is also not included in this standard. Now, finance lease is a lease that substantially transfers the risk and reward of ownership to the lessee. Important thing is the risk and reward of ownership is transferred to the lessee. If the asset is given to the lessee, he is 100% responsible for its use, whether as maintenance also. An operating lease is a other than a finance lease, so that's the definition given previously. The present value of the lease payment is substantially all of the fair value cash price in lease in finance lease. The substance of the transaction is that although lessee is not legal owner of the machine, it has in commercial reality terms acquired the assets and using a finance deed. Debit, right of use assets, 
and credit obligation under finance lease by the present value of lease payment. This is another important word. Present value of the lease payment. For example, you are taking an asset for five years lease, and each year you are paying, let's say, ten thousand every year. So it's not fifty thousand as such, but you need to work out the present value of those payments, and that will be your liability. The non-current asset should be depreciated over the shorter of the useful life of the assets and the lease term. Here, clearly, if an asset is let's say for ten years life, but you are taking it for five years lease. So you need to depreciate it over a five year. Now there is a bargain purchase option allows the lessee to purchase the lease assets for a future price which is substantially lower than the future uh, fair price, fair value. This is also a possible that uh, if the lessee want to buy these assets, so they have an agreement, a purchase option also. So what they do normally, they just pay a little amount. And the asset will be transferred legally transferred in the name of the lessee. If the option exists, the lessee must increase the present value of the minimum lease payments by the present value of the option price, which is really the guaranteed residual value. Here also, there is a, one is a guaranteed residual value. If there is a residual value, and if this is you are going to pay to get the asset in your name. Then you should also include the residual value, present value, also in your release payments. About the lease, we call it off balance sheet financing. It means we previously we don't use to report in the balance sheet as such. Although we are using the assets, we are generating revenue against these assets, but we are not we are not recording it in the balance sheet. So this is off balance sheet, and it is no more allowed. Motivation for keeping finance off the balance sheet includes the following effect on leverage. You're gonna if you are including the liability, it means your total liabilities are increasing. That's why you not to increase it now. Borrowing capacity, borrowing cost, and management incentives. So these are various things which uh, we used to have when we are not including the lease assets in our liability uh, in our balance sheet. Thank you very much.